Every student in the class was excited about bringing our entire Wright State University together to have this conversation. We've just been moving the wall around and just having people think about, you know, things they want to do before they die. So the wall was really a way for us to engage ourselves and others in a conversation about what it means to live and what it means to die. Being about the end of life helps us learn how to live life in new ways. One of the things I put was meet my brother again. I thought it would be nice to, you know, have a conversation with him again and uh, just talk to him about his life experience and get to know him better. I wrote to fall in love. There's a lot of hate going around in this world and I think that love really brings us together. Live my best life. I have written a couple different things uh, throughout having the wall up and I feel like a lot of it kind of just kind of is summed up as this one. Before I die, I want to go to Scotland. I'd like to go for the wedding, but I don't think I'm going to make it to the wedding. <laughs> I don't even know when it is. Once you write it down, it makes me want, gives me the motivation to go ahead and do that. There was some resistance in the beginning of class about I don't want to talk about that or this is uncomfortable. But the more we talked about the relationship between living and dying, the more students have opened up. The wall has kind of given me this, I don't know, purpose, I guess. And the conversations that we have in class have just really um, helped me kind of like understand that there's more to life than what's going on right now. And that there's always going to be something that I'm going to want to be able to do. Thank you so much.